I know, I know you're thinking to yourself, what the heck, this guy was promoting cheat devices before and he's back at it again. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. If you've seen my other videos where I was talking about the PlayStation 4 controller and how much I like this controller versus the PlayStation 5 controller, you've probably seen that I talked about different ways that would allow you to use the PlayStation 4 controller on your PlayStation 5. Now, I'm not just talking about on the PlayStation 4 games on the PlayStation 5, but using it on PlayStation 5 games on the PlayStation 5 with the PlayStation 4 controller. I showed you workarounds for that. Now, I've had a bit of a change of heart. See, what's happened is a lot of the newer games have been systematically patching out the uh, Cronus Zen mod, which I was using to allow me to play the PlayStation 5 games with my PlayStation 4 controller. So I decided to make my PlayStation 5 DualSense FPS Pro controller. I've been using this controller now for the last couple of months, and it's safe to say that I've gotten quite used to it. So the way this controller feels in your hands is drastically different than how the PlayStation 4 controller feels in your hand. You can see there's a bit of a shape difference between the two. It actually feels quite weird for me now to hold a PlayStation 4 controller in my hands because I'm so used to the PlayStation 5 controller. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. So now I've got a new problem. You see, last month, you may have seen a video where I visited Linus Media Group out in Surrey, BC. That's because I had to travel out there for my regular day job. While I was out there, I couldn't fit my PlayStation 5 in my carry-on baggage to take with me to the hotel. So I took my PlayStation 4. That meant I was back using my PlayStation 4 controller. And it was very weird for me. So weird, in fact, that when I go on my next trip, which is coming up in a couple weeks here, I needed to figure out how can I use my PlayStation 5 controller on my PlayStation 4? Yes, in this video, I'm gonna be going backwards. Before I was trying to use my PlayStation 4 controller on my PlayStation 5, now I want to use my PlayStation 5 controller on my PlayStation 4. The reason for that is because I can fit a PlayStation 4 Slim in my carry-on luggage, take it to the hotel with me. It's reasonably inexpensive. If it gets damaged, it's no big deal. It allows me to continue playing online games such as Warzone or Cold War or anything like that. But because I've gotten so used to PlayStation 5 controller, I want to figure out a way to use this. Now, the keen observer will have seen this sitting here on the corner of my desk this whole time. Now this is the 8-bit do, as I call it. I've heard other people call it the 8-bit do, but I don't know, maybe it's 8-bit do. Anyway, this is the most recent 8-bit do adapter. It is specifically listed as working with the PlayStation 5 controller, but does it work on the PlayStation 4? And will that allow this to work? That's a question I see all over the internet and I see totally mixed reviews. So I'm gonna give it a try today. We're gonna to see if we can get it working. And if that doesn't work, I do have a top secret way that I know I can get this to work. And I'm gonna show you that as well. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. Now, before we just go and start plugging this into the PlayStation, we wanna make sure that it's up to date. So I'm gonna walk you through updating the 8-bit DO adapter, and then we're gonna test it on the PlayStation. So the first thing we want to do is download this update tool. So you can see it here. This is on the 8-Bit Do website. And I just typed in in Google 8-Bit Do Updater and it took me right here. So I'm going to download the Windows version. It's not a big file, so it doesn't take long. And we'll open that up. And then we're going to run the updater. Connect 8-Bit Do device to your PC. So we're going to plug this in. Like that. Firmware update. So 
This is the 8 Doe USB adapter 2. So the other ones, there's a gray one and there's a brown one. Some people call it red, I call it brown. Those ones are essentially the same thing. They're just different colors. This one is supposedly different. Is it different? I don't know, but we're gonna do firmware update. And it looks like it's only got one firmware version right now, version 1.00, but I'm gonna update anyway, just to make sure we have the latest update on there. So here we go, it is updating. Now, if you have the gray one or the brown one, you wanna try that, you should go through this update process as well, just to be sure that you are running the latest firmware of that uh, 8 -Bit USB device. Success. Okay, that's it. So the next step will be to go plug this into the PlayStation 5. We'll try and pair the controller to it, and I'll show you exactly how to do that pairing process with this adapter. So here I am at my PlayStation 4. You can tell it's PlayStation 4 because it says PlayStation 4. I'm going to plug in my dongle to the right side USB port. And then we just hold the button down to put it into pair mode. And then to start blinking. And then we hold down the share and the PS button on here to put it into pair mode. Like that. And now they're paired. So this, you didn't, you didn't feel it, but I did. This just vibrated to say, we're in pair mode, or we've been paired to this. And now if I push the PS button, it's not doing anything, nothing at all. So this isn't a surprise. The fact that this says it supports the PlayStation 5 controller just means that it will support the PlayStation 5 controller on your Switch or on your PC or on your uh, Raspberry Pi. So it does not support the PlayStation 4 at all. You can use a gray one, a brown one, or this black one. None of them will work on the PlayStation 4, at least not that I've been able to, to get working at all. But I do have another secret way that I can make this work. And that's with this. Now I know you guys have already seen me use the cheat device before, but I'm going to plug this in. And we're gonna try and pair this up to my PlayStation 5 controller and use that because I wanna use my PlayStation 5 controller on here. So right off the bat, this is registering as a controller. That's why it just went into that controller screen, but this is not paired to it. So I need to press this button here to start it into pair mode. Then I need to press this button and this button again to go into pair mode like that. And I'm gonna hold that down there. Okay, now this is paired to that. So I can go to GT Canada, just like that. Now that we've confirmed the controller controls things on here, I wanna do a quick uh, system test. So we're gonna to go to Need for Speed Payback. I just wanna make sure that all the analog controls function and everything else. Okay, so we're just testing the functionality of the controller here. So the analog stick works. I can confirm that the rumble function is working too. Now the rumble is just working as like a simulated rumble. I'm driving bad on purpose that I can get more rumble effects. Even the, the metal pad works. So there, I can push this to toggle my map on and off, and the share button works as well, which, as you would know if you've used this on your PC or even on the Switch, usually these buttons are switched so that the share button is this toggle and this is the, the pad button. It's for compatibility reasons, but it seems like it's functioning just fine on here. So as far as functionality, it's all working perfectly. PlayStation 5 controller on a PlayStation 4 using my Cronus Zen dongle. So again, here I am promoting a cheat device for a non-traditional purpose. Now I've said it before, I'll say it again, I do not use this for cheating. I do not use it in any way. In fact, I don't even have any scripts on this device to use it for cheating because I simply use it as a way to interface a controller to a machine in a way that the machine otherwise 
would not allow me to do. So in this case, I will be taking this and my PlayStation 4 Slim and my PlayStation 5 controller with me on my next business trip so that I can still use the controller I'm used to on a system that's easier to travel with. As for my 8-bit dough adapter, I do still have a use for that because I have recently acquired a switch. I have not had a switch this whole time. My kids have switches. I finally sucked it up and went and got myself a switch as well. So I will be using this so that I can use my PlayStation 5 controller with the switch and hopefully put some smack down on my kids in Smash Bros. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes in future videos. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.